Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Natalie, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. I have a small L3 order to share with you. I've had it now sitting in this box for over a week. I just opened the box. So I'm gonna go over my L3 haul and then a couple people asked me, um, Loaf Palooza is going to be this Monday, whatever date Monday is. 15th, I think the 15th, and it's 10 o'clock Pacific time, one o'clock Eastern time, which is my time. A few people asked me if I would do a video on my list of what I'm gonna be grabbing from Love Palooza. So I did write down, um, first I had like five on my list, and then she added yesterday more. I'm up to like 16, 17 on my list. I might cut it down, I might add, I don't know. It all depends on where I'm at on Monday, what I feel like. So, cause I have so much L3 right now. And if she was not closing in September, I wouldn't even have done any of these because I was on a no L3 in 24 until I at least knocked down the two full draws to one draw. If you watched my L3 collection, I did like a while back, I think it was in the winter. I have so much L3. Now I have a huge pre-order coming in. It was her last pre-order. Now I got this and I'm on overload with L3, but because it's her loaf palooza and um, she's closing in two months, I'm just, I'm gonna do it. Anyway, so let's first do the haul I got. I got three samples. I took them all out of the bag to try to not crinkle. My first sample is smoked vanilla. I have smoked vanilla in uh, her breakaway bars whatever, whatever we call them, her breakaway bars. And, um, it's really, really good smoked vanilla. It's light to me and it has to sit. This is a scent that it, the longer I let it sit, the better it gets. Um, let me open this. Yeah, it's really, really good. You definitely, it's definitely smoky vanilla. And um, like I said, I let this, that, that is one that the longer it sits, the better it gets. This is called Baja Cactus Blossom Pink Chiffon. Let them eat cake. I never had this one. And it is a, in the shape of a pig. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love pink chiffon. It is such a beautiful oil. I love it. So really good. Then I got um, Spiced Honey and Tonka Sugar Cookie Royale. I have this in scoops. I actually got it. Loved it so much. I think I got it in wax. Loved it so much. I went back on and got more. And I got it in scoops. I am so into honey and plum right now. Oh, this is so good. Yum. Love it. So that's that. Then um, I grabbed two Bitty Betties of Watermelon Sugar High. I don't even know if these are on, anything I got here is on her list. This is, smells like strawberries on a summer evening and watermelon spun sugar. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, this is so good. You're not going out, so go lay down. You were just out. He does this every time I'm filming because he just wants me to get up. Then Aloha Vanilla Strawberry Musk. I know this one sold out really fast because I got on right on time, and then I checked out, and I went back in a few minutes later to have, you know, to look because, you know, you throw, it's an RTS, you get cart jump, so you really grab the ones that are really intriguing, and then check out and then go back in because you could ask Jen to combine the order. And when I went back in, I, I was thinking of grabbing another one of these, but it was already gone. So, mm, this is so good. Oh, wow. Aloha Vanilla Strawberry Musk. Mmm, that is good. I just, in my melting challenge with Patricia Gates, they just did out last week, Melt something that makes you think of Hawaii. I wish I had this. I would have done that one. 
Next is a coffee blend because that's, I'm going to miss L3's coffee. This is espresso maple syrup bourbon toasted malo zucchini bread. Yum. It's that one. Then I grabbed four cloud cakes. I grabbed four cloud cakes in watermelon cake, watermelon sugar. Start again. Watermelon cake, watermelon sugar high, fresh picked strawberries. So I grabbed four of these. Wow. Okay, this is my favorite. This is so, so good. Oh, yum. Yum. I love that. Okay, guys. Then I grabbed her cashmere plum bunt sampler. Love L3 samplers. Um, all right. I got to untie this. What a, my favorite color. The bag is my favorite. My favorite color. Now I have to figure out how to open this. You could see I did not open it because I'm having a hard time getting it open here. Yay, okay, I did it. All right, so I'm gonna just dump these out and save this pretty bag. I, I always save these and I use them for gifts. All right, let's go. First one, cranberry chutney, cashmere plum, lemon meringue pie. Try to not crinkle. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, so her bunts, I cut into four. So I cut this way, this way, and it's a perfect, either my bedroom at night or the kitchen in the morning. So this is perfect. I have five warmers, but I just don't, don't light one up. So the bunts are perfect. This is so good. I wonder if any of these are on this um, this list we're gonna go over. Next one is Palo Santo Smoked Vanilla Cashmere Plum. And I'm sorry guys, it's a lot of crinkling to open all these bags. Yeah, the smoked vanilla. I don't really get plum in here. The smoked vanilla and the Palo. Yeah, maybe on warm plum comes out, but right now I'm just getting this really the smoked vanilla and the palo. Sugar cookie, blackberry, cashmere plum. Yeah, that sounds good, even though I'm not big on blackberry, but I do like L3, how she blends blackberry. And it's blended beautifully, like really beautifully. You get the blackberry. And the plum, yeah, this is really, really good. I get the sugar cookie too, but the blackberry and the plum, so this is yum, really good. Next is vanilla balsam blackberry cashmere plum pink sugar. Oh my God. The vanilla balsam is what pops out first. And then the the plum and the pink sugar, but the, the vanilla, her balsam is so, so good. Oh, this one is a good one. So far, that's my favorite. I'm going to put this here as my favorite. Cashmere plum vanilla birch toasted mala. Did anybody get the this cashmere plum sampler? Let me know if you got it. Yum, this is so good. It's almost bakery-ish. <sighs> that is so good. That is delicious. I'm, so far, I'm loving all of them. Then plum tart, cashmere plum, cashmere cedar. It's light. So this one is light, but... 
a lot of things to me are light until I get them in the warmer. Warm vanilla sugar, cashmere plum, toasted mallow. Mm. Oh my God, the tart. It's like a tart cranberry. No, I mean plum. Warm vanilla sugar, cashmere plum, toasted mallow has like a little tart. Sweet, but a little tart. It's really good. One left. Salty sear, cashmere plum, roasted pine cones. How good does that sound? Wow, how good does that sound? The salty sear. See, you gotta warm these. Like, I'm not getting plum. I'm just getting her salty sear. On the bottom, I'm getting the roasted pine cones, but it like you would not know there's plum in this one. But on warm, again, I just I just opened the box, so so this is my um, small L3 haul. Then I'm gonna let you guys know the list for Loaf Palooza is so long. You really have to go to Facebook and look at it. And so far on my list. I have, I don't even know if these are in alphabetical order or not. So I'm grabbing, so Cafe C Spiced Oat Milk is on it. I just grabbed that in the pre-order in the B bar, the big, big, big one. So I'm not getting it in the loaf. I didn't get that pre-order yet, but it's on my list because I'm getting it for a friend that is going to be working that day and I'm grabbing it for her. So Onyx, don't even start. On my list, I have, I hope these are in alphabetical order on here, Lighthouse. So Lighthouse is on my list. It's Sea Air, White Musk, Lavender Cashmere Amber, Tonka Cedar, and Plum. And in capital letters, Jen wrote, amazing with an exclamation mark. So I have that on my list. I have Pretzel Bakery Bomb. If these are not in, in, it's just pretzel bakery bomb. There's no notes. That's just what it is. I'm grabbing two loaves of her salty sea air because it's my absolute favorite salty sea air. So I'm grabbing two loaves of that. I'm getting a loaf of spiced plum Fraser fur sugar cookies. Then she has a few strawberries, right? So I got to narrow. I want all of them. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. So I have strawberry jam, blueberries and cream, orange sherbet, raspberry whip, cherries, malo fluff. That's one loaf. Then she has strawberry jam, strawberry pancake, fresh picked strawberries. I'm definitely getting that one. And then strawberry pancake, bath and body work type. So it's like the candle with pumpkin pecan waffles, cookie cottage, sugar cookie royale, Danish butter cookies, Sugared shortbread, Nola wafers, vanilla cookies, sweet bakery dough. That's a lot. But I've had many times her strawberry pound cake with the pumpkin pecan waffles with like in blends. And I love it. So I'm going to grab a loaf of that. I'm probably going to skip the strawberry jam, blueberry and cream orange sherbet one. I'm going to, I'm going to cut that one. I didn't bring a pen in here. I have all three of them down, but I'm going to cut that one. Also, I have two scoops and two bitty betties of Sugar Cookie Royale by itself now, but I'm going to grab one basic betty of Sugar Cookie Royale because there's nobody I've smelled their Sugar Cookie Royale like L3, but then again, to be honest, I only really get L3s by its Sugar, sugar Cookie Royale. Once she closes, I have to try other Sugar Cookie Royales. Watermelon Salty Sierra, I just got finished with my Watermelon Salty Sierra. I had two Bitty Betty loaves, not my last empties, the one before that. I had them both in my empty basket. So I'm gonna definitely get Watermelon Salty Sierra. One loaf for sure, maybe two, I don't know yet. Strawberry Zucchini Bread I'm getting. And then um, Tam, I think this is Tam's not I think, I'm like almost positive. This is Tam's blend. 
It's her Mac Apple Cotton Candy Funnel Cake and Palo Santo. I'm gonna grab a loaf of that. I just finished that. Then um, Emerald City. I've had Emerald City and I have that on my list, but I'm still not sure. She doesn't have everything in alphabetical order on here. So um, her fresh picked strawberries, yum but I'm not getting that. Um, her espresso cinnamon sugar today is October 3rd, which her today is October 3rd is her Palo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Malo. If you've never had L3s, today is October 3rd. I highly, highly suggest it. And that espresso cinnamon sugar today is October 3rd. I've had that. It's delicious. Um, there are, there's a lot on here. I, definitely would want but I just don't need nor I have I have to stop at some point her beach nights bath and body work type I might grab a loaf of that Aunt Jam's filled jelly rolls I have two scoops of that so I'm not getting that in a loaf um yeah guys there's the buttery gingerbread ice cream scoop bread kettle corn vanilla wafers that sounds delicious but I'm not going to get that, but that sounds really good. Caramel apple, green apple, brown sugar, candy corn, rice crispy treats. Yeah, I don't like green apple. Again, there are so many. I'd be here for two hours reading off everything on this list. So this is my list here. This is what I'm going to grab. And that's it. That's what I'm going to get. I'm going to stick to it. I don't know if she's, she said she could be adding up to Sunday night. So it's late in the day, Saturday right now. I don't know if um, she's going to add any more. If she added straight Palo, I would get that because again, L3's Palo is my favorite. So if she just did Palo on its own, I would get that. I do have it in a scoop, maybe two, like in my collection. So I would get straight Palo. Um... Yeah, I have to see what else she's going to add by tomorrow night and um, go from there. But it's definitely going to be Hunger Games on Monday because everybody knows, like, everybody's been waiting for her loaf palooza. Everybody knows we're in the countdown to, like, what, the last six weeks that she's, I don't know when it's, if she's closing beginning of September. I don't, I don't, I did not see an exact date of closing. So maybe she's gonna stay open till the end of September and do some fall blends. Um, I don't know, but I could tell you after Loaf Palooza, I am not looking at her list. The only way I'll look at it is if Tam messages me or something that there's so, like the straight Paolo is there. I don't know. I just know that I'm on overload with L3. It's my favorite vendor. I'm really sad that she's closing, but her health comes first. So I'm so happy she's closing to take care of herself because without your health, you're nothing, right? And maybe after a year, she'll come back. Maybe she'll come back and do one or two pre-orders a year. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, yeah, this was this is going to be my very last hurrah with L3. And um, let me know what you're ordering, please. Do you have a list going? Her Facebook page is wild with this list. And um, that's it, guys. Everybody have a great week. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget, comment below. I want to know what everybody's getting. If you're going in on Love Palooza. If you're not, then I guess don't. But um, that's it. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.